Good day, day guys and girls, my name is Private Cookie, also in the same, and today we are playing Wooden Battles Workshop Maps. Now, I've got three maps here, which are going to be a load of fun to play and watch for you guys as well. So first off, we're starting with Titan War by Ruzel.Emilio10. So, it looks like he's already built me a defense. It's a bit laggy at the start, but it'll get better. So it looks like we've got a whole bunch of rocket artillery, Gatling guns, mortars, and just a bunch of infantry. Alright, let's get it going. There you go, it's much better already. So here we go, they got a few rocket artilleries. Actually, no, I should be on this side, because I'm, I like reds. Look at that, they're already half dead. Already half dead! Well, these mortars aren't going to do anything. They ain't going to do nothing. I mean, yeah, reds are losing a bit of men. Like, you know, these grenades are about to go off. I'm going to lose quite a few, not really. Looks like blues have a heavy push on the right side here. Not really going to do much. The mortars are going to wipe them out, though. Look at this flying sniper! Oh my gosh, they're broken through the wall. How far are they going to get, though? That's the question. We've got a few cannons and mortars in the back here. That should do enough work to take them out. As well as a few musketoons scattered around the place. But oh my gosh, they've got a whole bunch of men left. How are we supposed to take this down? All we need is just a good amount of mortars to hit this one particular position. Their mortars will run out. They've got a few riflemen over here, which we should be able to take out. Hopefully. I'm not too sure if we will, though. Oh, gosh. It's a slaughter. They're losing their men slowly, which is a good thing. But they still have a bunch of men. Oh, we can't be missing cannon shots. We missed every single cannon shot. Okay, good, good, good. All right, looks like there is two grenadiers and two riflemen. Another grenade over here and a few grenadiers and some riflemen. All right, come on. Come on, Reds. Let's not lose to the Blues. Come on, come on. It's so close. It's so close. Oh, come on. Just a few more riflemen. Oh, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Have we got it? Yes, we've got it. Come on, hit him, hit him. Come on, hit him. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because he was terrible at the end there. Alright, so that was a fun battle. Okay, on to the next map. And here we are on the Unbeatable Fortress by Kalamunda. I had to create a blue army. And I don't like creating blue armies because they're blues and I like reds. But we're just gonna get this battle underway. Go. Looks like there's a whole bunch of cover on this right side here. We're gonna charge on these musketoons. A whole bunch of mortars are gonna fly off. That's not good. But we still have a very strong defense on the front. Lots of snipers I'm noticing now. Also fast firing snipers, not like accurate ones. Oh my gosh, the mortars are deafening. I'm gonna stick on the side here away from the mortars. Looks like these must Oh! Don't do that. <laughs> these musketoons are doing good work with the medics. I don't think we're gonna be able to take that down very easily. Uh, mortar's still alive, still shooting. Uh, I think the front defense has been ravaged. We still have a few men or here and there, but we do have a lot of cannons over here, as well as, as some fast firing riflemen. Oh, yeah. Alright, so that looks like all their mortars are down. So they have a few cannons. Oh, there's still one more. Okay, it's gone. Snipers, snipers. Uh, one cannon over there. No, but two. Riflemen, snipers. Yeah, okay, cool. It's going to be a bit of a slow battle, so we're going to speed it up a bit. And I don't think we're doing them too much over here. We're kind of just uh, staring at some wood. Yep. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Wait, what? How'd that sniper die? What? Oh, he got shot in the back. Oof. Well, oh, trying to make moves over here. This entire front fort has been broken down, but they don't want to push past it because they have to break all the blocks first. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We've actually broken out. We're on the offense. Not like we're gonna do too much. Uh, go for the musketoons. Yeah, because we can insta -ki kill them if possible. All right. Well, um, that didn't go too well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are they just gonna beeline it to the end? They are! <laughs> they just gotta beeline it to the end? Well, you better do something quick, Musketoons, because you get a... Uh, not much time. Really not much time, and you're gone. And we shot the Musketoons anyways. Well, that looks like a very close battle at the start, so I'm gonna play that again. Let's see that in action again. So here we are. They have quite a lot of rocket artillery. If they can get them off at the start, they, they'll do a lot of damage. It's not looking like they are, though. There's still two more intact. Okay, they got one off. That did not much, and they lost the other. Alright. They're all gone. 
these mortars need to do as much damage as they possibly can before they die from, you know, themselves. These mortars are devastating as well, like, they instantly kill the musketoons and those medics behind them, they don't even care. They're just gonna wipe straight through them. So we do have a bit of a ground defense on these mortars. Oh, we got rocket artillery as well. Wow. And this is not even as close as last time. We still have half the wool remaining. Yeah. Just a few snipers here and there. And they're gonna beeline it to the end again. Unless these snipers can do something, Reds are gonna win again. Do they have any snipes in the back here? They've got tons. Yeah, it's looking like Reds is gonna win. Gonna speed it up quite a lot. Yep. Friendly fire's even occurring. Yep, yep, gone. Alrighty, and now we are playing Sydney Destruction by Amo Thomas. I hope I didn't butcher that name too much. But this is a very cool map. It's kind of got like a bit of a street sort of thing happening with, with the city. And yeah, it just looks really cool. But I think it's a bit too trigger happy. What do you say trigger happy with? With all the men, you know? It's quite laggy. You know, all these musketeers. Oh, gosh. Hold on. There we go. It's really just the cavalry. Like, they're not optimized one bit at the moment. And they really like the game. Yeah, alright. Okay, that, that's better. There's a lot of musketeers, that's for sure. And they're just gonna go right through the buildings. Who cares about the streets? Wow. Alrighty. Yeah, they're just gonna go right through. I'm trying to clear bodies as much as possible. Get a best experience for you guys. Um, yeah, my, I, yeah. I am on a laptop at the moment, so I wouldn't really trust this too much, but... I've done quite a lot of optimization today, but I don't really just want wooden battles to be optimized in general. It would be great. Looks like there's a lot of musketeers getting stuck on blocks. Not not actually um, trying to take them down. There's quite a lot of snipers on the red team as well, but I think blue's going to win this one. Unless all these riflemen here can do something. Actually, no, they actually have a good defense back here. Yeah. Oh, this is a good close one. Very close one. And looks like there's a cannon stacked on a Gatling gun. How'd that happen? <laughs> Nice. There's two Gatling guns here. Oh, well, one's down. Unless these few riflemen here are going to do something about this musketeer, they're going to lose that other Gatling gun. Looks like they're going to keep it. Still, we've got cannon and Gatling gun stacked on top of each other. Not really doing too much. It looks like the musketeers are going to prevail on the red side. Because there's very little blues. They're, they're scattered around, but... They still got a chance to beat it. These musketoons are stuck. I don't know what's going to happen with this battle, but we are going to watch. Oh, wow. Musketeers are losing. They got a cannon. That's tearing them apart. And then they got, got the blue musketeers. That's distractions. Okay, they took down the cannon. That's good. And what do they have left? A cannon and a Gatling gun. All right, well, that officer's dead now. I just got friendly fired. And then they got a few here and there. That's looking like it's going to be a red victory. But then again... That Gallant Gun can tear through those Musketeers. You really don't know. Why is it just one... Are you alright? Okay. You don't want to go out into that war? Doesn't look very uh, appealing, does it? Nah. Looks like the entire city's gone. Oof! Oof! Oh my gosh, he's ice skating! And he just died! <laughs> he was ice skating! And we got one cannon. Yeah, it's gone. There are a few more musketeers. A officer. Not going to do too much. And then one musketeer in the back. Looks like it's going to be another blue... No, not blue. <laughs> what am I saying? Red victory. Yeah, one officer and one musketoon. Oh, that's not an officer. That's a musketeer. Alright, looks like they're going to move forward on this one musketoon. And just like that, he's lost. Just like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.